Oh, yeah, here it is. RPM gauge needle, which had broken one day during one of our test runs. So, we got a replacement for this. I'm going to try to fix it. This camera doesn't do well at focusing up close. But it was screwed on, or I think, I don't know, I pretty much technically unscrewed it to get it off. That little tiny needle in the middle. So, yeah. So I got the RPM gauge taken apart. I got the replacement needle. Actually, I think this is like an OEM kind of thing. There's the uh, the part number from Auto Accessories of America. Hell yeah. <clears throat> part number, Speedo Tack Needle. I guess they're interchangeable. Uh, AAADirect.com if you want to check them out. See what they got. See if you need anything. It looks to be pretty similar to the original. So I guess we'll go ahead and see if it fits. When I took off, I basically felt like I unthreaded it. So I guess I would just try to rethread it and see if that does what I want it to do. Let's see if I can kind of hold this back here ever so gently. I don't know, maybe. I can't tell if it's spinning in my fingers or not. I think it is spinning in my fingers. But, uh, it's on there. It's on there wrong, but it's on there. So I guess let's see if we can. Okay. All right, let's turn a little bit more. Sure. Zero. Ish. Why not? All right, maybe we'll fix it just a hair. Nope, too much hairs. Okay, I like that better. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go with that. We'll call that there good. Okay, so on the back side, they had this plastic piece, which has the blinker, and I believe it says brake. Yeah. So that just lights up green for the blinker turn signal, and then this lights up red for the brake light. Align this on here accordingly. Okay, and then we will grab the back of the tack and we will align this accordingly. They have these four little pins that help line it up and then of course the two screws. So I believe the two screws were these rusty fellas. Okay. And we'll just kind of double check it again. I guess that's right. I mean, it doesn't really look centered. Like the metal hump is over here. And then this hump's over here. But, I mean, everything else is lined up as it should be. So I don't really recall what that had looked like when I'd taken it out. I'm gonna call that good. Also, I think I may have mentioned this before. Um, another guy went and tried to wipe his uh, gauges to clean them. Ended up smearing all the numbers. So I'm not gonna wipe anything really. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Just kinda, if I made any marks on the black or anything, I might try to just get a little flecks of dust off. <laughs> and I'm gonna call it good. I don't, I'm not gonna go too crazy on this because I don't want to ruin anything. So I got the housing here, <clears throat> which has that flat black inlay. Super cool looking. Go ahead and connect these two. So they also have the, the little uh, plastic pin markers that help guide it up and line it up. 
set that in there like that. Flip it over. Two screws on the top. Just gonna snug it. And the same over here. Definitely don't want to over tighten this because all, all original, I'm sure it's not easy to find. All right, I'm gonna tighten these down. Again, just gonna snug it. Check it again. A zero mark uh, seems to have dropped down a little lower than I wanted it to. All right, I like it there. The gasket for the glass it has the two little plastic tabs. Set that on there. That's so cool, like how it's curved. And then the metal bracket. Set that on there, flip it over. Three screws. Oh, trying to be careful, I don't want to strip this out. Find out which one wants to go where. All right, that one likes it over there. Oh. I don't know why this one wants to bind, but it's making me nervous. Okay, I kind of just backed it out a little bit to get the thread to, to start. Okay, just snug for now. Same thing over here. And then the third bottom one. You can't fit the socket through this hole, but you can fit the extension through there. So you just disconnect and then reconnect to get to that. Line it up, send it home. I'm just gonna give a little bit of pressure. Great. Snug it down, snug it down. I check these here. That's tight. This one's kind of loose. Okay. And then these two screws are for a uh, a vacuum uh, little pump that attaches to that so they're there for now so they're just they're just chilling and then you got when you put your all your light bulbs back in it says gray pink gray dark blue the only two that really matter is the pink and tan and the dark blue because that's your blinker and that's your brake light so all the other ones are just gray because they're just the ambient lighting so there you have it. You got the the cluster tack made in USA. Pretty cool. And there we are. I went and rebuilt all this, put it all back together. Um and I put I didn't put this on the inside of this metal housing. Uh -huh. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to have to take this apart, put this on the inside, and then screw it all back down. It should only be these two, these two, and nope. So that one. Okay, it's going to be a few screws. Okay, got that all straightened out, put it back in there the way it's supposed to be. A little bit more of a pain in the butt than I thought it was going to be, but. I don't know, I kind of rushed it. So, it's in there, like swimwear. Ready to go back in there. Like swimwear, I guess. Oh no, the RPM gauge fell off again. Look at that, the needle fell. Oh. Well, here we are. Couldn't leave bad enough alone. Trying to remove just the glass so I can get to the needle. Yahtzee. There we go. Oh, God. Ow. 
Ouch. I did it. Okay, so I got it back on there. I know I gotta re-line uh, it up or whatever. But uh, I'm just testing to make sure it's not gonna fall off or do anything weird. I don't know, I know it's just a tapered little, the little centerpiece is just a little tapered rod and it's supposed to just be held on by, by friction, but you know, like how much friction? Cause I could put a lot of friction on this. I thought about doing some, a little, just a little, little titch of super glue, but I don't have any. So. I took the little uh, screws off of the plate right here, there, and then here, up in this region. Slid the little plastic out. Cramalama ding dang that back on. Hopefully it stays, because if not, <coughs> I might just... Um, Theoretically, redline this and then possibly this whole vehicle right into a telephone pole or a tree or something. So, stay tuned. Could get spicy.